Hey folks, Reloading Bench back with you once again, and this evening's video will be a short one because the topic is uh, very limited. And as you can see, I'm going to be talking about what I've put together here that I'm calling my Hornady Bullet Puller. So years and years and years ago. So this comes back to when I first uh, actually... Um, I want to say maybe, yeah, before I got the Hornady Press, um, I was looking at, uh, you know, obviously bullet pullers, and we all know the kinetic bullet puller. Uh, quick and easy, in a pinch, but uh, for something that's a little more delicate uh, and involved, or for a greater number of uh, bullet pulls, um, I opted to go with the Hornady Bullet Puller. Also, for a number of years, I had my Hornady bullet puller just sitting on the shelf in the uh, in the cabinet in uh, in my reloading cabinet, and I once again stumbled across a product, and this is another entirely crimson product, and I was I missed it the first time. I was shopping for the Hornady, actually, I was shopping for the bullet strainer. Uh, excuse me, the Dillon bullet powder uh, and bullet strainer. And uh, I saw that Entirely Crimson had a little section for Hornady, and that's when I picked up, uh, and I believe I got the last one, the bullet and powder strainer for the Hornady powder measure. And they only had a handful of things for the Hornady uh, lock and load press, which means um, I'm going to guess they did a bunch of stuff years ago, and now they're just letting stock dwindle down, um, assuming that there's more business on the Dillon side. I don't know if that speaks more to the Dillon press or not. But... They had this, and the reason I missed it is because they only show on the website uh, a picture of this black tray with the 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 holes cut out in this little plastic, you know, area with that looks like a, you know, an L-shaped uh, kind of reservoir. So when you're just seeing this black forget about the red plastic I and mean, you're just seeing that black um, plastic tray you're like what the heck is that and uh, when I was bored one night I went and uh, did a little poking around and found out it was for the Hornady bullet puller and the collets and I thought oh my god I that's a, that's a must-have because I have these collets had these collets sitting around in little trays everywhere and th they were never all together and this was a great idea that um, the folks from Entirely Crimson put together because they made this tray and really heavy-duty hardware, too. So you take an old Hornady die box and you take the top off and you mount it to their, uh, their tray. And I have, uh, again, once again, my... Lee classic turret love this thing because of its flexibility so on this particular turret I have an RCBS swager I've got the Hornady bullet puller I've got uh, the Lee universal decap and I've got a full-length resizer for 300 Winchester Magnum which is um, why I don't have the full uh, components to the uh, bullet puller so I put the bullet puller in with a particular collet and actually Murphy's Law because I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing and I'm dancing around the camera. Uh, this is going to go in, that's going to go in like that. And then I would screw this in and then just keep testing my, when I have the brass casing right at the mouth of the collet how tight I need to go or how much I need to lower this and then I have that set and then I would just go to town with uh, with the bullet pulls so when I saw this on Entirely Crimson's uh, website they used to uh, offer both the black tray that they have uh, engineered with the Hornady top case but again I'm guessing um, the run is done, meaning uh, they no longer have any more of the cases. So they're just selling this tray. So I picked the case up uh, on eBay because I don't have any Hornady 
uh, Hornady dies, a uh, set of dies. I have individual dies, like the bullet puller. Um, and uh, put that together and uh, came with this foam, which is nice so that everything doesn't jump around. And then I put together a little laminate on, you know, what the collet is. And then each collet and its size. So that's everything in its place and a place for everything. So, um, and I put this in here to keep this from bouncing around because I don't have that in here that fits that uh, reservoir. So um, that is the Hornady Reloading Tools Bullet Puller. So that's a gem and it organizes everything into one place. So when I need this for the quickie, one off, two off, maybe a couple, but if I do a bad run uh, or I just need to do a whole bunch of uh, pulling or I bought some components from somebody, I don't trust the powder or the uh, amount of powder, type of powder, amount of powder, I'm gonna pull those bullets and recycle the brass primer uh, and the lead. So that's a winner, good stuff. And yes, I forgot to mention, this speaks volumes to my OCD-ness. Take care.